Okay, back in action, guys. All right. I have a video response here that I was supposed to make that day. I made that first video in my car, but I didn't get around to it. So let's go ahead and read this. Now, this person doesn't want to... He, he, he wants to remain anonymous, so I won't say his name. So I'll just go ahead and read read the um, the uh, the response here. Okay, so all right, I hope it's light. All right, so hi Moses, I have been watching a lot of your videos and following your channel for quite some time now, and I would like to start with thanking you for sharing your experiences with the rest of us here on YouTube. I have never sent 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 you a private message before. Um. See, but now I have something that I really would like to ask you. Uh, I'm a Swedish guy that has a really serious relationship with a Japanese girl, and we're planning to start living together here in Sweden in a few years. I know you have a Chinese wife, or maybe it's, it was Taiwanese, I don't remember exactly. So I thought I, I would ask about your opinion in the following matter. As far as language learning goes, living with a person who is a native speaker of the language you are practicing, uh, you are practicing or let's see, your practice can of course be really beneficial but do you think it's important to still try to talk to other native speakers of that language or can you or can you archive a good level in that language just by communicating with your girlfriend all the time I guess different people have different ways of speaking their native language and I'm not sure how much it would affect the way I speak if I only practice communicating with my girlfriend and never practice with other native speakers so what do you think? Is it okay for me to just think I have my girlfriend, I don't need any other conversation practice, or should I think more like different native speakers have different speaking habits, so I should still talk to other natives as much as much as I can about uh, as I can. How about you? At the, at the time when you were studying Chinese the most, uh, did you also look for other Chinese people to practice with even though you were already living with your wife, who is a native speaker of that language? So far, I've never seen any video where you talk about this, and I think it's quite an interesting topic. Please feel free to make a video response if you like. All right, uh, let's see here. Okay, that was a, that's a very good question. Um, yeah, like I think if even if you your girlfriend or you have a girlfriend, cousin, someone that you live with that speak that 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 um that language, like in your case Japanese, natively, um. I think it's I think it's good that you have someone who's a native of that language because they can give you feedback, quick feedback on you know, right there. You know, they can correct you and you can always ask them questions. So it's very good that you have that native speaker around. But I also think that you should um you shouldn't just say, Okay, I have my girlfriend, that's it. You should you should also find other people, other native speakers of that language. It's very important because, like you said here, the the different habits. A lot of people speak differently. Now, I have a uh, one of my Japanese friends told me that he knows this American guy that speaks Japanese really well. But one problem is that when he speaks, he sounds like a, a female because he um, he hung around like all his Japanese friends. They were basically female. He didn't really have any male Japanese friends, so that had an influence on the way he spoke. So. You got to take that in consideration, too. If you speak with women or you hang around with, with women all the time, you're going to pretty much pick up the way they speak. You see? Um, that's what happened with me. Like, uh, you asked about my wife. Well, when I first started learning Chinese, it was actually before I, um, like, when I was really, really into Chinese, studying it. This is bef way before I met my wife. I actually had a Chinese roommate, and he spoke really good English. And, like, he was there all the time, but... I couldn't say, oh, I have a roommate now. I practice practice Chinese with him. I was still going out meeting other native speakers. You know, if I had questions, then yeah, I can ask ask him, ask him uh, the questions about uh, Chinese. But uh, I always made sure I spoke with other people. Now, after I met my wife, um, it was great because I, I I'm not you know I'm I'm not saying like before I'm not saying that I didn't learn a lot, but because um, that would be foolish. I learned a lot after I met my wife, especially living with her. You know, I get to hear Chinese all the time. But, like, um, she, like, the thing, like, I, like about the, the female thing, like, I, I, I normally hung out with her and her friends. And then, the, 
you know what happened was I started picking up a certain way of speaking it sound more like um, a feminine I don't know and I didn't really pay attention to it until I was talking with other people like in chat rooms and stuff and they were saying that oh you sound like a uh, it was so funny some guy said I sound like a sissy and I was like why you say that he said you he said you sound just like those sissies over in Taiwan <laughs> I was like what the heck but yeah and I, I guess it was because the way the Taiwanese people speak so I kind of I don't know I it kind of affected me in that way so um, yeah I would say just you know you definitely want to meet other natives not just don't rely on your girlfriend meet some male speakers um, and just just mix it up and just because you have your girlfriend doesn't mean that you're going to go to a high level like I mean you can go to a high level but you have to be speaking with them like for me like uh, to be honest my shiny should be a lot better than what it is my manner should be a lot better than what it is now you, it, sh it should be a lot better than it is now because I have my wife I should be speaking with her like every day but we don't speak Chinese every day like we do but it, it's not every day it's not enough and it's like when we go out with friends or you know we go to Taiwan of course then that's when I really use some Chinese especially when we're in Taiwan I use a lot of Chinese because her family they can't speak English but um, when we're here I don't really speak to her like I would actually have to initiate the conversation sometimes just to get her to speak Chinese I mean she speaks Chinese back to me sometimes but then but a lot of the time she just she just speaks English with me so uh, you will find that your, your Japanese girlfriend she may uh, just speak with you in English at first because maybe she she knows that you're learning the language or whatnot so you probably have to initiate the conversation so um, yeah that's my advice my advice is to just make sure you mix it up everybody speaks differently especially amongst males and females you have to have a you have to have a mix so um, yep that's all I could tell you don't rely on your girlfriend I mean you can ask her for questions and whatnot but just don't say I got her and that's it I'm not speaking with anyone else you want to find some other people to practice with okay so um yeah that's it uh for the audience other people if you guys have any other suggestions for our friend here on how to go about uh practicing this japanese with other natives or whatnot um post a video response i love video responses a video response or in the or post in the comment area give some suggestions so all right that's it for this video thanks for viewing